Have you ever wondered what almost 2,500 pounds of chicken actually looks like? Well, today we're gonna take you along and you can see for yourselves. So this is what 2,500 pounds of chicken looks like. They freeze it rock hard and then that way we can transport it and it's just fine. We are here. We're about to fly into action. We're going to get it put in the freezer, sorted according to what it is. We've got drumsticks. We've got chicken breasts. We've got broth packs, all kinds of stuff. I'll kind of show you all that when we get done though. We want to get it in the freezer as quick as possible. Five hundred pounds later, they're home, unloaded, and put in the cooler. They had them so frozen that even though it's a warm day, they didn't thaw at all. I've already broke into the boxes. Everything looks great. It's packaged so well, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. I'm going to take you and show you each individual piece, and maybe you might get some ideas of what you can do with your chickens if you're processing them or if you're having them processed. I just want to give you all a quick overview of everything we got. Uh, we got ground chicken in one pound packages. Really excited about that. A lot of people have been requesting ground chicken, ground turkey that are on like a really low fat, heart healthy diet. Uh, we got chicken tenders. They are so good looking, so, so nicely packaged. Uh, I'm really pleased with the size they turned out to be. Of course, leg quarters. Again, the packaging, they just stacked them up and packaged them so well to take up as little room as possible. And then, of course, the boneless, skinless chicken breast. That is a really big, nice size. Looks really good. Uh, and then the chicken wings. I had them package these. Um, these are pound and a half package. They're, they're various sizes. Uh, I kind of told them how many wings per package. 
Honestly, I can't remember what that was right now, but I'm gonna get all that logged into our website. And then the drumsticks, those are really nicely packaged to take up as little room in your freezer as possible. I think there's four to a package. Um, and then this is something really cool. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So obviously they've been deboned. This is a darker meat part of the chicken. Uh, we've just heard a lot about people getting these and really wanted to try them. Really excited to offer those. And then finally, really excited about this. This is called a broth pack. It has the back, the frame, the neck, the liver, and the heart. And so that is gonna be awesome if you are into making broth. You can see there is quite a bit of meat on here. You could get meat off there as well and make like chicken stock, chicken broth, um, soups and stews and all kinds of stuff with this. We've got a bunch of those and really excited about them. So we are super pumped to have that job done, the chicken home and in the freezer. That was a big task, unloading all that chicken. But it went really well. Thankful to Lane and Emily for helping me and um, just stepping in there and doing what needs to be done. We're super thankful that we found this place to process our chicken. They do a couple things that I want to mention to you guys uh, in case you look into someone processing your chicken. Now this is a small scale operation. Um, it actually on their website says they were formed to fill a gap um, in people that have huge chicken houses with thousands and thousands and thousands of chickens they have places to get those processed but smaller scale uh, probably bigger than just your backyard operation if you have 50 birds more than likely you're going to process them yourselves you don't have to they'll do that many at this place and places like this but if you have a few hundred you know like we did on 500 or whatever um 600 it that becomes a lot you can do those yourself but we wanted all the different cuts of chicken and um so that's why we went with this not to mention we just have so much going we don't necessarily have time to do it anymore but one thing they do is they air chill so i'm super excited to see how this turned out chickens after while during the processing they have to be cooled down rather quickly they have to go from you know they're pretty hot their body temperature and then after you dispatch them they need to be cooled pretty quickly or bacteria will start to grow and that's where air chilling comes in you may have seen that in the grocery store if you've bought chicken in the last little while um, it'll say air chilled if they do that they generally put that on the package to let you know because that that is kind of renowned as um the best like chefs and things have have said that they can tell the difference when they're cooking it and um, taste tests and things have said that that it tastes different it's more juicy and all those things because uh, there's either water chilled or air chilled water chilled is just what it sounds like a lot of chickens dumped in a big vat of water um, there's a lot more chance of bacteria and different things like that now here on our homestead we've we've been guilty of that honestly because when we clean them we wash them and then we put them in an ice chest full of ice which then turns to water so we are basically water chilling ours but I will tell you this then when we have gone to um, get them out of that ice chest you almost have to let them drain for a while because they soak up a lot of that water and it kind of dilutes the meat so we're really excited to try this air chilled meat because it's not been dunked in water and things like that um, we'll see we'll see if there's a difference and we're really also excited that hopefully we're going to be able to bring it to you guys we're working on shipping we had some hiccups had several packages lost that we never could get to the bottom of what exactly happened and um, that's costly so we kind of had to shut it down for a little bit looking for a new provider and just trying to iron out the kinks because right now shipping is kind of a nightmare because uh, a lot of the shipping companies they don't do any kind of refunds if it doesn't arrive on time or if it gets lost there's no refunds because their their reasoning is COVID so and that's all, the only reason we've gotten up to this point so we're trying to work all that out we really want to be able to ship to you guys and hopefully soon ben and i are going to get hard at work and get this all logged into our website hopefully we're like this close to offering shipping and we can do y'all some packages of a variety of different um, things of chicken so that's really exciting for us we just thank y'all so much for supporting us i hope you have a fantastic weekend spend it with your family friends um just enjoy it, bless someone, and I hope that it's beautiful weather where you are and that you just have a great time. I'll see you guys next week, and thanks for watching. God bless. One last thing before we check out of here. Um, Sabrina and Jeff, 
y'all both guessed really close to our chicken numbers when we asked how many we uh, loaded up. We actually loaded up 491 chickens. So if you got 491 already in the comments before this comes out, let us know. We'll go back and check it out. But what we've seen, Sabrina, searching Sabrina, she guessed 490. And Jeff B guessed 492. So both of y'all email us and we'll get something out to you. Thanks for watching.